guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am doing what will probably be my last pregnancy update. I've only done one other one before for my first trimester, so I thought I would do one more before he arrives and kind of go over my experience for the second and third trimester. So I hope you like it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So as I said before, I already did my pregnancy update for my entire first trimester and I will link that video down below if you haven't seen it. So I'm just going to kind of jump right into the second trimester. There's really not a lot to say. I have been really lucky and feeling really good in this pregnancy. I haven't had a lot of major symptoms the entire pregnancy. I haven't been sick. I haven't been nauseous. I've been super lucky, which has been great. One thing that did come during the second trimester was the lower back aches. I had really bad back aches. They've actually kind of gone away now, but for some reason, especially during the second trimester, my lower back would ache so bad. We did get a new mattress and that kind of has seemed to help so I don't know maybe I just needed some extra support but whenever I was on my feet for too long or just had a long day my back would hurt so bad. I also was getting out of breath much quicker and I noticed that somewhere in the second trimester when you start losing your breath feeling bigger. My belly wasn't even that big, but I was just really getting winded and out of breath super quickly. Another thing that I experienced a lot during the second trimester was people telling me, oh, look how tiny you are. Oh, is there even a baby in there? Oh, you don't even look pregnant, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. It just got so repetitive though. I had random people say it. I had friends and family saying it and they weren't meaning it in any mean way or saying it in a negative way but it was just all the time. Anywhere I would go there would be someone saying oh my gosh you don't even look pregnant and I feel like I had a little bump like I'm definitely not huge and I'm also taller so he has a little more room to grow I guess. Anywhere I went I would get the comment anytime I would post something I would get the comment and I was like, I am pregnant and I do have a bump. And then if I like lifted my shirt or something, they'd be like, oh, you do have a baby bump. And I don't know, like no one was meaning it in a mean way or to be rude or negative or anything like that. But it just became so repetitive. And I don't think anyone would say that if like someone was huge, they would be like, oh my gosh, you're massive. So anyways, just... If you can refrain from commenting on a pregnant woman's size or any woman in general, like it really didn't affect me that bad. But at the same time, I was like, okay, is he growing how he should be? Am I measuring too small? Like it just kind of plays with your head and had me worrying for a little bit. So I don't know, not that big a deal. And obviously I have a bigger bump now that I will show at the end, but that is something I experienced a lot. So you might get that comment if you're pregnant. People like to comment on your bump size, I guess. And then we did have like our regular doctor's appointments throughout the second trimester. We did do the 3D ultrasound not too long ago actually, which was so awesome. Like we got to see a glimpse of his little face and it was so amazing. We have that video. I will also link that down below. I see so much of Logan in him already, like the facial features, the lips, the nose. I see Logan. But there was one comment where someone said he looked exactly like me. So I don't know, go watch it and tell me what you think. I just love getting to see his little face and like actually having an idea of what he's going to look like. So I would highly recommend doing the 3D ultrasound if you are able to because it was awesome. Also the best thing about the second trimester was that's when you kind of start to feel them kick and move and roll and so that was awesome. I remember like the first few like little thumps I felt and I wasn't sure if it was him and then you kind of get to know for certain and then Logan feeling him kick for the first time. Those were the best and so exciting. I definitely think the second trimester was my favorite because I was feeling so good. I wasn't feeling huge yet where it was harder to do things and there was just like a lot of first moments like feeling him kick and seeing him and things like that and I was feeling good the entire time and so second trimester was really fun but it went by so quick and now all of a sudden we are into the third trimester. I am currently just about 33 weeks pregnant. 
His due date is next month, which blows my mind. His due date is March 31st, and so he could come in April, but for some reason, I have a feeling he might come early. We could be meeting our baby boy next month, which is so crazy. I can't believe how quick it has gone by. I am sitting in his nursery right now. We started working on the nursery a few weeks ago, and I would say it's probably like 80% done. We have the big things in here. We have rocking chair, we have a dresser, we have a little table, we have his crib set up, we have a little rocker, we have a rug. So we have basically all the big things. The only big things that I need to get are the stroller and the car seat. But basically for his room, I just need to put some stuff on the walls, bedding for his crib, a few more like little decorations, and also like wash off his clothes, hang them up fold them, organize them, I need to do all of that. But I probably won't do that until after my baby shower so that I can just have it all together and know where I want everything. But we're super close and once it is done, I will be doing a nursery reveal, tour, video, whatever you wanna call it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm really excited for you to see. It makes it feel real like walking by his room every day and it's just so cool. Also, I was going to add that we do have his name picked. Like he has had his name since we found out he was a boy. Logan and I actually picked his name when we were dating in high school. It's kind of a funny story. We picked it forever ago and maybe we'll do a separate video about that. But we do have his name and we decided on a middle name and then of course his last name, Butler. So his name is picked. If you have any ideas, leave them down below. I wanna see what you guys think. Anyways, getting into my third trimester now. I think the biggest thing in my third trimester has been the growing belly and how much it affects you when you don't realize it and how much like it starts to catch up to you, all the weight you're putting on and it gets Hard. So when I first got pregnant, I weighed about 130 pounds. I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall. The last time we went to the doctor, I weighed 155, and that was a few weeks ago. So I bet I am pushing 160 now. I've gained between 25 to 30 pounds, and I still have like a month and a half to go. You just feel so different, and it doesn't feel like your body anymore. And you just realize how much harder it is to do things and how out of breath you are. And it just happens so fast that it's kind of hard to get used to. It's just so much harder to do those everyday things that you were used to doing. My energy has still been really good though. As long as I am getting the right amount of sleep, then I usually feel really good. Also something that nobody told me that would happen, and I don't know if it happens to everyone, but it definitely happened to me. It was like as soon as I hit the third trimester, my area down there started hurting very bad. <laughs> like it just feels like pressure already. It hurts to walk and I feel sore and it feels pressure and I feel like I am kind of waddling because it does hurt. And I told my mom and grandma that and they kind of laughed and they're like, yep, yeah, get used to it. And I was like, no one told me about this. So if you haven't heard, um, I don't know how early it starts for everyone, but mine was like as soon as I hit third trimester, I started getting really sore down there and it really hurts. <laughs> oh, fun lady things. So yeah, that is fun to deal with. Also, I can barely bend over to put my shoes on anymore. Logan usually helps me put my shoes and socks on. I'm also really lucky for as much weight as I'm putting on and how much my belly is growing. I have not had any stretch marks yet and I am very grateful for that. I make sure to put on lotion like every time I get out of the shower, but I've been super lucky. I only have like a tiny few, maybe on the side of my hips, but I don't have any stretch marks. If anything, I'm just getting like super veiny. My boobs are really veiny. My belly is veiny. I have like a few big veins that run down my belly. But besides that, like I can't complain. It's also been really fun because he's still moving and kicking and rolling just as much. And he kind of has like a sleep and wake pattern. And it's cute because right when Logan and I will wake up, he'll wake up and start moving and rolling around. And then usually it's like in the afternoon when I'm eating lunch, he'll wake up again, roll around, do some big kicks. Usually when I'm eating is when he'll wake up or late at night, he'll be rolling around and my whole belly will just like move. Sometimes he kicks and rolls so hard that it kind of like takes my breath away for a second. 
he's definitely getting very strong. My entire pregnancy, his little feet have been so far up in my ribs and that has been very uncomfortable and I can feel his little feet and I like push on him a little bit to try to get him to move his feet and then he just kicks my hand away so or like his elbow in my side pushing but he's just trying to grow and stretch and make room in there so but yeah other than that I feel like I've kind of just had the normal things like definitely peeing a lot more eating a lot more out of breath just feeling big, things are harder to do. I think really that's it. I have been so lucky, you guys. Like, I have not had any major problems. I haven't felt horrible. I've been tired, but I've been so lucky, seriously. I have loved being pregnant so much, and I feel so blessed to be able to say that because I know not every pregnancy is this easy, and some people actually have a really difficult time, so, I'm just feeling really blessed and I can't wait to meet him maybe next month. I'm just enjoying it while I can though because like I said, it has gone by so quick. We are feeling pretty prepared though. We have maternity photos scheduled for the end of this month. We have my baby shower coming up in a few weeks. I do need to pack my hospital bag. I've been reading that because basically at this point he could come anytime and we need to finish up the nursery but besides that I think we're feeling really good and really ready. I also know that a lot of women start experiencing the Braxton Hicks contractions around this time and I haven't had any of those. My lower abdominal area is hurting just because he's getting so big and I'm carrying him lower I think and so he's sitting lower on my pelvic bone and like closer to my lower abdomen so sometimes that gets sore and heavy but yeah I think that basically covers my second and third trimesters. I haven't had a lot of symptoms. I feel like I am doing pretty good and we're just ready to meet this baby. But if I did miss anything or you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to go through and read some of them and answer any questions you have. But thank you guys so much for following along. Make sure you stay tuned because we will have the nursery reveal and then pretty soon the birth vlog. We will be recording that and also having photos and a vlog, so I'm really excited. Can't wait for that. Stay tuned for those videos and until then, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, before we go, let's do a bump update really quick. I almost forgot to show you my belly. I can't forget that. So this is my belly at 33 weeks pregnant, almost 33. I'm like two days away from being 33 weeks, so close enough. Here is the belly getting so big, much different than my last pregnancy update. Um, as you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I definitely have some veins that really stick out. And then also those lines that go down the middle of your stomach. I forgot what they're called. I think there's a name for it. But those are definitely getting much darker. And then my belly button hasn't popped yet, but it's definitely like flat to the surface now and probably will stick out a little bit more. But this is belly at 33 weeks. getting so big.